Today we'll talk about the principles in the use of ICT. If you want to use ICT effectively, there are principles to adhere to. Let's talk about the principles that you learned in principles of teaching. All of the principles you learned in this subject apply here. One important principle is that learning is an active process. That means no one learns for another. Only you can learn for yourself. Thus, a learner must be engaged in the teaching learning. The use of ICT makes learning highly interactive. Second principle is that learning is a collaborative process. Learners learn better and faster when they interact and work together. The constructivist theory states that the construction of knowledge and meaning is social in nature. Again, the proper use of ICT makes learners and teachers work together better. Learning is also integrative. This is the third principle of learning. Effective learning is connecting information learned from all sources and from all subjects. Once more, the skillful use of ICT makes learners connect what they learn from different subjects and sources. A fourth principle, effective learning is experiential. The behaviorist claims there is nothing in the mind which was at first in some way in the senses. For effective teaching learning, the teacher then must make the learners see, touch, smell, taste, or hear what he wants them to learn. All these are made possible with the use of ICT. Another principle I'd like to discuss with you is to use ICT because ICT is a means to the realization of learning outcomes, not because it's the fad. The use of ICT should be aligned to the learning outcomes. Let me show you the principle of constructive alignment, which is a centerpiece of outcomes-based education. Look at the diagram. The diagram shows that the starting point of the learning process is the clarification of learning outcomes and the teaching learning activities, or in short, teaching methodology, is based on the learning outcomes. It is in these teaching learning activities that the use of ICT is related. And that these methods with the use of ICT must also be aligned to the assessment task. And the assessment task, of course, is also based on the learning outcomes. So the principle that we talked about the reason why we use ICT, a particular material in ICT, is because that material helps you realize the learning outcome. Related to the principles of teaching and learning in relation to ICT, I'd like to explain what we mean by learning from ICT and learning with ICT. When we say learn from ICT, we refer to the traditional role of ICT. ICT is just a delivery vehicle for content, like a teacher acting as mere dispenser of knowledge or source of knowledge. When we say learn with ICT, we look at the use of ICT from the constructivist point of view, where the learner does not just look at ICT as source of information, but the learner looks at ICT as a partner in learning because the learner gathers, thinks, analyzes, synthesizes information, and constructs meaning with what ICT presents. 
The learner also uses ICT to present what he, she learned and what he, she is learning. ICT is used as a facilitator of thinking, knowledge, and meaning construction. ICT is at the service of the teaching learning process. The proper use of ICT is in support of the time-tested principles of teaching learning. For optimum learning, let us teach everyone how to use ICT effectively in the teaching learning process.